Oh my god, it's a self-grading carrot. What is this magic? Now, obviously, this is the kitchen of the future, and in this tutorial, we're going to see how to make a self-grading carrot. Well, you can use this technique for many different reasons, such as grading any vegetable you want, really. But, in all honesty, this is a really cool technique, and you can use it for many different reasons. This is Alex Cordovard for BlenderMania3.com, and let's get right to it. In a new scene, we're going to delete the default cube. Uh, actually, no, let's be nice and move it to the side. Add in a plane, and in edit mode, the I key to inset it, and then control. Add two loop cuts right here and then delete the middle faces with the middle edge loop selected, Alt Shift S to make it into a circle. Then in object mode, we're going to go ahead and add a modifier array, change it to four, and then select merge first and last. Then back in edit mode, select these vertices, E to extrude, Y, and bring them up, and then bring these two vertices up on the Z axis. Alright, back in object mode, Shift D to duplicate it, change this array count to three. And then we're going to go ahead and apply both of the arrays. Select both objects and then Control J to join them. And then we're going to go up here, change the snapping mode to vertex. And in edit mode, select all these faces or vertices with the L key, G, and then hold down Control to snap it there. Right click with everything selected and merge by distance to remove the doubles. Then in edge mode, select these two edges, E to extrude, X, and hold down Control to snap it there. And then select these two edges and F to fill it in. Do the same thing on the other side. Then we're going to add a modifier array, change the array to the Y axis, and change it to 3. Alright, now adding a subdivision surface modifier, we're going to also select merge on the array and then shade smooth. And boom, let's go ahead and add in a quick handle by adding in a cylinder. And there we go, we have a handle. Now selecting the grader, in edit mode, select all the vertices on the side and just E to extrude and bring them down. Alright, we're going to select the handle, duplicate it, shift D, and then in edit mode, with all the vertices selected, bring it to the side and scale it down, and then scale it up so it basically follows along the line of the grader. Just like so, scale it on the Y axis, and then in edit mode, with the bottom vertice selected, we're just going to go ahead and with the E key, extrude them out and kind of create a something that holds the grader and the handle together, basically. So again, E to extrude, R to rotate, G to grab. And bring it into the handle. Boom. All right, now with that selected, add a modifier, add an, a mirror modifier, and then go into object mode, select both the grader and the other thing, and parent them to the handle with Control P. Now let's go ahead and add in a UV sphere, split it in half in edit mode. We're going to create the carrot, so delete all these vertices right there. Select that one as well and delete those. Then E to extrude, bring those down, scale them down. E to extrude one more time, scale it down and hit the F key to fill in that face. Then Control R, our trusty loop cut tool, add in some loop cuts. Move them around to give your carrot some character because carrots have character. And then select these edge loops, G to edge slide them and edge slide them down a little bit. And then bring it up, scale it up a little bit unless you want a baby carrot. And then, boom, there we go, we have a carrot. Now, what we want to do is we want to animate the carrot. So split the viewport, and we're going to change this one to the graph editor. On frame 1, we're going to hit I and insert a location keyframe right there. Then go to frame 10, bring it over to the side and insert a location keyframe. And then s duplicate the first keyframe and bring it to frame 20 so that you have that right there. Then on the Y location graph editor, hit the N key to bring up the modifiers, add a cycle modifier, and boom, there we go, it cycles back and forth. And now we need to make it go down. To do that, we're basically going to go ahead and with the carrot selected, go to the Z location, find the Z graph, select the handle, and bring it down and to the right so that it goes down over time. Then with both handles selected, hit the T key and make it linear. The reason we did that is that so it's more constant and not gradual. Now go ahead and increase the time frame, grab the Z location, and bring it further to the right and down so that our carrot goes all the way through the grader like so. And boom, now we have the carrot going side to side and down, which is exactly what we want. All right, we're going to go ahead and add in a cube, scale it up, and scale it on the Z axis. Then go over here to the viewport display and change it to wire. And then with the carrot selected, Go ahead, we're going to go to the Modifiers tab, and we're going to add a Boolean modifier and select the cube as the Boolean. 
And now you'll see that when the carrot goes through the cube, it starts to disappear. Aha, the old Boolean trick. Sweet. Now we need to add the carrot grading, so add a plane. And with this plane, we're going to go ahead and position it under the carrot, scale it up on the y-axis, and then go to the particle systems, add a particle system emitter, and we're going to make the gratings, add in a plane, and just scale them up on the y-axis and create a couple gratings with adding loop cuts, scaling them up and down, and again, shift D to duplicate and create two or three or four different gratings. Then select all of them, control G, create a new group and rename that group. Back in the particle system of that plane, go ahead and go to the render, select collection, and select that collection of the carrot gratings. And boom, there we go, but they're way too small. So go ahead and first apply the scale to these pieces, then back on the particle system, increase the scale, and there we go. Except they're too straight, so we're going to create some random rotation by selecting rotation and increasing the phase and random phase and randomize as well. And now if we play it, look at that. Now decrease the scale just a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and add in a plane, scale that plane up. And with this plane, we're going to go ahead and first select these, make these rigid bodies, select both of the other ones, go to object, copy the rigid body data so that they're all rigid bodies. And on the plane, select collision, increase the stickiness, the damping, and the friction all the way up. And now you can see with those being rigid bodies, we need to first increase the time frame or the lifetime so that they don't die on us. And with the t lifetime increased, you could see that we also need to change the start frame. So put the start frame on the particle system to 30 and change the amount to 500 as well. And boom, there we go. Now, if you want more precision of where your carrot gratings are falling, you can hit control seven to go underneath the grate itself. And then in edit mode, scale down your particle system and then just hit shift D and copy it exactly where the carrot gratings would fall underneath the holes, just like so. And then deselect show emitter under the particle system settings. And there we go. Look at that. And that is how you make carrot gratings or any kind of gratings in Blender. Also, let's increase the end frame of the particle system to way higher so that they don't again die or disappear on us. How cool is that? Sorry guys, I had to say it. Alright, for the rest it's quite simple. You could add in a UV sphere, cut it in half, and make a bowl by adding a solidify modifier to it, and bringing it down and scaling it up. Next, we could add another UV sphere, cut that one in half as well, and bringing it down and into the bowl in edit mode with proportional editing set to random, we could give it a random shape. Then add a particle system to it, make it hair, and select the collection of the graded carrots. And with those graded carrots selected, in edit mode, rotate them so that they're laying down like so. Then they're way too straight, so give it random rotation just like we did before. And you could change the scale as well. You could also select the vertex group and assign the vertex group where you want these to be specifically. All right. The next thing, we're just going to increase this, the amount to 5,000 and also add in a collision with the damping and the stickiness set to that as well so that the carrot gratings that fall stick to that. Sweet! So that is how you do carrot gratings in Blender. Hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe as I post almost daily videos, and check out the community over at BlenderMania3.com to join contests and join an awesome Blender community. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now. Au revoir.